Okay, so today we're going to curl her ears in like an Asian style. First of all, you want to have a nice clean prep dog. I've already done some airbrush color just to add a little bit of difference to it. First thing I'm going to do is you start at the bottom and work your way up so that you have um, all that hair out of your way. I'm going to be using um, canine competition texture styling spray as a way to keep it from just falling out right away even though this is just purely for pictures but canine's nice in that it's not a helmet hairspray it's very movable so I'll be judging it over the next couple days to see you know how soon I need to wash her or wash it out but I can even just use probably a slippery sp spray to brush it out I am using a human hair curler today um, because it's one of my own favorites. Because the barrel goes big to small, that's how the curls form. And I find that this one, this is a professional one, it holds curl in my own hair really, really well. So I have actually have not tried this one on her before, but the thing to keep in mind is you're not going to be touching that anywhere near their skin. The goal is just to get a look. So um, be very, very conscious of where your curling iron is at all times. And uh, some of the tools that you will need, you need to have her clean and brushed out. Um, a, a comb, because she's so thick, I don't tend to pick a really, really fine comb. I'm going to pick just a nice wide tooth comb. She's already been combed out. For making sections, you can use as simple as a crochet needle, uh, a rat tail comb, anything like that. This is just happens to be what I have handy. So, so that you can take yourself and make yourself little sections to do. Um, I'm not going to want them, I don't want to, I don't have a ringlet effect, so I'm not going to do tiny sections. I'm just going to feel it's almost done. So I'll be doing sections about that big. Be aware of where you're spraying. I'm not going to spray towards her nose. I'm not going to go crazy with the hairspray. I just don't want it to fall out in two seconds, that's all. If you own a heat glove, this is when it would be really, really handy. Uh, rather hot curling iron. Her hair is nice and healthy. I have no idea how good it's going to curl. You know the old saying, the hair curls better when it's dirty or whatever, dead. Whenever you pull a curl out, if you try and keep it in the same shape, it'll hold longer. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually going to take a bit of this hair and do the bottom really quick. She has a lot of hair. I don't want to be at this forever. So we're going to try and... also use a ribbon curler, especially on small dogs. Um, it works quite well. It is a very hot curling iron, but it's nice and small. It's very tiny. <laughs> you can see that it's going to take a bit, so I've made her comfortable. She's used to being banded and being groomed, so she's got a nice comfy headrest. She's probably going to fall asleep on me. So. You know, there's no need to worry about her being uncomfortable simply because I'm doing something special for a cover of a magazine. Now, if I wanted stronger curl, well, for one, my curling iron hasn't been sitting on that long, but I also could let it sit on the hair on the hair a lot longer. Um, I might when it gets to the top a little bit more. I don't want to lose a lot of length on her ears. Kind of similar to a human, I guess, in that you want that effect of length and layers. Like I said before, I, I don't want perfect, you know, Shirley Temple type ringlets. I kind of want a tousled, you know, Bridget Bardot.
trick for curls is not to muck with them until they've cooled. You want them to actually sit and not have weight pulling on them if possible, like, you know, till they've cooled, even with your own hair. Let them let the hair remember where it's supposed to be. Don't worry, I won't make you watch her whole entire everything. I'll just do one ear and the bit of the top knot, and then you can you'll get the gist. I feel this is part of making it a different look. So after this is cooled and dried and everything, I'll actually go back and finger it, break it up. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. I probably could even not hairspray it, but I just am not sure how well her hair will hold curls. So. Oh, it's going to look so pretty. Maybe I've got more hairspray on me than I did on you. how much stronger that one took with just a little bit more. I actually counted off how many seconds. I've moved more to the bottom side of the iron on the top because I want those ends to be a little bit tighter. It'll just change the look. One of the benefits of having a curling iron like this, even for your own hair, is because the top curl is bigger, it adds body. It's actually quite pretty on your own hair. I have long hair and it, it holds beautiful. So, you know, I, do, I got mine through my sister who is a, like she's a hairstylist and a salon educator. So. I have no, you know, it's a professional one, I have no idea <laughs> where else you can get them. But. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so glad I added the pink. Okay. Does that look good in there? Oh yeah, it does. So, these ones are more dry down here. So once, once they're dry, I'm gonna, you know, just finger break them up to make them look more natural. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Well, I'm going to do the other side, but I'll make you not stop watching there. And then I'll just quickly video it after when it's uh, all combed out and ready. So there is the finished product. 
Put your head up, sweetie. I fingered through. So the color, I think, find helps it look much better than just leaving it. You could finger through it more. I'm not sure how much it'll hold, so I'm going to leave it. All right, picture time. 